pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 and today I've got some really cool gameplay lined up for you guys. I'm not showing you any more content from the patch 8.10 test server today because I think we kind of covered most of the important stuff already. So as you can see I'm platooned up with two of my friends Max and Redwood Forest right here. Uh, this was actually a patch 8.7 game and we all know Panzer 1 scenes. Now I really suck at driving this tank and as you can see I just basically suicided and died straight away. Uh, however my friend Redwood Forest here is really really good, he really knows how to use this vehicle and so he very quickly picks up his first kill. Now interestingly this was Redwood's very first game in the Panzer 1C and it was good. So the 82 takes up, no sorry it's an 81. The 81 takes out my other friend Max, uh, however Redwood avenges him shortly after and now he's in the enemy spawn point and can basically kick some ass against these tier 2 and 3 tanks here. So, T2 medium, it's not really a medium, it's got light tank armor, no problem for this amazing German Mauser machine gun. This gun's just absolutely ridiculous. It, it packs 600 shells of ammunition, that's just, you know, and look, he's actually managing to carousel a Panzer 38T, no, it's a, is it a 38 or a 35T? Um, it's a 38T. Uh, that's so funny, because that's supposed to be a scouting tank, and he manages to carousel it. So now there's a Panzer 3A spotted up there, and also there's a T26 and an M2 medium over there in the bushes, as XVM tells us. So first we'll take out that Panzer. Get close, and secure the fifth kill. He's on five kills now. Uh, can we take out the Russian? And he fires, but he gets taken out before he can... Uh, secure the kill. He basically just fired the last few shots because he was too lazy to hit this, um, the reload key. And then he secures the top gun on the M2 medium. He's on a real run here but there's still three enemy tank destroyers left and oh my days he's on six kills and he's on very very low health. <laughs> and they're all over there and the bush is camping. They're all spotted now. And something's really wrong with the replay pile right here. My reticle is all over the place, but he wasn't obviously dealing with those kind of issues while he was playing the game because he manages to secure seventh kill at long range with this German machine gun. That's just absolutely ridiculous. So he next he starts firing at the 8018. I'm really sorry for this weird rectical effect. I'm not sure what's going on. He decides to go for a reload to uh, have a his full firepower when he goes to engage that French tank destroyer. And he's waiting. He's basically right now he's probably thinking that the Renault will come over the ridge line to attack him and he's on really low health so he doesn't really want to make the first move. But it doesn't look like the Renault was all that keen on doing the first move of either. And as they're both distracted, he uses the opportunity to take out the Renault, securing his 8th kill. If this was a tier 5 game, he would have a Radley Walters now. And I can't believe it! He leaves the 80. He leaves the T18 on 1 health. Oh, can he make the 9th kill? And... He can't penetrate. This is ridiculous, guys. So he stops trying after shooting nearly his entire clip at that T18. Decides to go in close and secure the ninth kill, hopefully. But he still can't penetrate, and then he finally makes it happen, getting the ninth kill. How hilarious was that? <laughs> oh my days, that was such a fun game to watch. It's just ridiculous leaving that T18 on one health and not being able to penetrate him. Oh my days, I really hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did, and <laughs> as much as Redwood did, probably, or definitely. He was basically all over the place of excitement for this little German tank, and it's a real shame that somehow I just can't make this vehicle work, but 
Obviously, he is red wood to show you how it's done. <laughs> Nine kills with this gun. <laughs> it's so funny. So I hope you found it amusing. If you did, consider giving this video a thumbs up below. I probably won't be giving you all that much content over the next few days as it's Christmas time and I have to be doing things like making presents and receiving presents and, you know, the usual stuff. So I won't be able to spend all that much time with the computer playing World of Tanks. So I'm sorry for that, but probably... Uh, there won't be any videos coming up over the next three days and after that you can look forward to my SU85 review coming up also probably a Leopard 1 review coming up so great stuff and I'll also be getting into some more World of Tanks tutorials in future uh, because I didn't do any of them for ages now probably be talking about ammo types and camouflage and stuff so all great stuff I hope you're looking forward to that again I hope you enjoyed this game and I'll see you out there on the battlefield bye bye Thank you.